Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. This week I've been to Sainsbury's again for my shopping. I did a, a delivery this week because we've just travelled back from Scotland. We got in about half an hour ago and we were out of everything. As you know, I ran everything down before we went so we need, didn't have any milk or anything. So it's a bit of a bigger shop and also it's I've made an effort to try and get a bit, few healthier bits because obviously we've been away and we've been eating quite a few sort of meals out and chips and ice creams and things. So we've got a few more salady bits and healthier dinners because obviously it's hot as well. So hence the hair, it just gets bigger and bigger as the weather gets warmer. So it looks ridiculous, but never mind. So as always, I will spin you around and show you what I've got. And then the price will be on the screen at the end and I'll share with you the meal plan. Okay, so starting with the fruit and veg, I've got two packs of Granny Smith's apples. My husband's going to take one of those to work with him to have with his lunches at work. And the other one is for the boys to have at home. And then I've also got a pack of the cheaper gall apples because I prefer like a red apple. So I got those and they were quite cheap, those ones. Got some of the imperfectly tasty green grapes and some of the blueberries and strawberries as well. They're really cheap. I think they're about a pound-ish for each punnet. So that's a good price. Got those, got some small easy peelers and a bunch of bananas. We seem to have gone off bananas a bit, but I thought I'd just get a few in case people want them for breakfast. So I've got those. And then the fruit and veg, like I say, I've got a bit more than normal because I'm trying to be a bit healthier. So we've got some of the carrots, got three loose onions and then I've got two of these Caesar kits that you get the dressing and the crunchy croutons and the cheese in and then I'm going to kind of do half a pack of that and some chicken for my husband to take to work for lunch instead of eating in the restaurant at work he's going to take some salad with him so I've got two of those and then I've got two oh sorry just fell over the dog got two packs of the corn on the cob because the boys had corn on holiday and they wanted some when we got home so i've got two of those got some of the loose mushrooms i think i got about six or seven and they were 78p got a pack of mixed peppers got some sweet and crunchy stir fry mix i'm gonna do a stir fry we'll probably have that tonight for dinner because it will be really quick and easy and it's already about half seven so i'll probably just do that with some chicken i've got some of the green beans and a cucumber and then the potatoes they were cheaper to buy the four pack of british baking potatoes so i've got three packs of those I'm going to do, I saw on Instagram someone doing them wrapped in foil in the slow cooker. So I'm going to do that and then have them for lunches, probably with some tuna and salad. So I've got three packs of those and then I also got some of the British Baby Gem potatoes. They were on offer for 60p. So I picked those up and then I'll do the meat and bits here as well. So I've got a pack of eight pork sausages. They're probably going to be for the boys when we're having something that they won't eat. I'll probably do them some sausages. So I've got those. Got some of these Cajun chickens. They are for my husband's lunch. I'm going to grill or oven those and just do those with his salad. And then I've also got a 1.6 kilogram pack of chicken breasts. We're going to have those for several dinners. And that is the cheapest way to buy your chicken at the minute. I think it was about a pound a kilogram cheaper to buy the big pack than buy the smaller sort of diced packs. So I'm going to do sort of probably three dinners with that. So I'll portion it up and freeze them and then they'll just be in the freezer for when I need them. And then over here, I've got some of the turkey mints. I put a little poll on my YouTube of which tray bake recipe you'd like to see. And it was a curry chicken one or a meatball and garlic bread one. And most people voted for the garlic bread and meatballs. So I've got the turkey mints to do that for you. So that will be coming up next week on my channel. So I'm going to do that for a dinner. And then I've got some pepperoni here. I'm going to make some homemade pizzas. So I've got some pepperoni to go on there. And also some salmon fillets for a dinner. We'll probably have that with the new potatoes and green beans. And then I've got an extra mature cheddar and a garlic bread. And then the other chilled bits are just a mozzarella, which is for the tray bake. A pack of wafer thin ham. 
and two packs of the Yeo Valley yogurts. I normally get Greek yogurt, but these were on offer. So I've got a strawberry one and a vanilla one for my husband. And then also just a milk was the only other chilled thing that I picked up. And then in the cupboard section, I've got a smooth orange juice. I've got two tins of baked beans, two tins of chopped tomatoes and two tins of beans and sausages. And then hiding down there, I've also got a tin of peach slices for a pudding for the boys got one of these summery chipotle and lime fajita kits so we love fajitas and i haven't had this one before it looks really tasty so it's got the tortillas barbecue seasoning and then the chipotle and red pepper and lime salsa so i thought that would be nice with some mushrooms onions peppers and chicken in I've got three squashes, so I've got two of the orange and one of the black currant, and they're just the cheap Hubbard's ones. I think they're about 40 odd P each. I've got some teriyaki for the stir fry, some tomato puree, and then I've got some yeast there because that's for the homemade pizza dough. So it's um, olive oil, yeast, and plain flour, I think it is for the recipe. So I've got some yeast. I've got two of these, they were on offer for 50p. So it's like when you make your bolognese and people put like, I don't ever put celery in mine, but like the celery, onion, carrot and garlic. So it's a, the passata with all of that already in and it was on offer for 50p. So I picked up two of those just to put in the cupboard. I might use one for the tray bake. It says to use chopped tomatoes, but I might use one of these and one tomatoes, but I got them anyway because they were on offer. And then I've got some honey nut corn flakes. Just fancy having those for breakfast, so I picked those up. Got some of the jam sandwich creams and some of the OT biscuits for the tin. Got my husband a Brasilia ground coffee to take to work. And then a few sort of lunchy bits. I just got some of these chicken instant noodles. We like those, the boys like them as well, so I can just do two packs and we can share those between us for a really quick lunch. And then I've got some of the no drain tuna chunks. Um, I think they're no drain or maybe they're just small tins. Mm, yeah, they might just be small tins. But I've got those to go either with salad or to go on a jacket potato. Got some medium noodles to go with the stir fry. And then I've got a big pack of spaghetti to go with the meatball tray bake. And then some mixed free range eggs as well. And then the snacky bits, I've got some of these Tyrrell's lentil crisps, sour cream and onion. Not sure if they're going to be healthier than crisps, but in my head they were going to be healthier. So 141 calories. Uh, quite low in fat though so that's good so i've got those and i've got the boys some quavers I've got some of the giant bear yo-yos they've had quite a few sweets and things on holiday so i thought i'd get those as a bit of a healthier snack so i've got a pack of those and then the bakery bits i've got our usual 50 50 loaf and then i've got a packed with seeds wholemeal as well because i fancied some brown bread to get a bit of fiber in there after living on off of chips and ice cream and red wine i thought i better get a bit of fiber in so i picked that one up got some folded flatbreads for i'm going to do some chicken and salad and bits and have some flatbreads got a pack of eight crumpets for a breakfast and then the freezer bits, I just got a pack of 12 potato waffles. They're handy to have in with uh, for the boys when they have sausages and things. I'll just do a waffle and a corn on the cob or something for them. That's really quick and easy. And then I've got some fish fingers because I don't really like salmon. So when we have salmon and new potatoes, they will have fish fingers. And the only other thing I got was a pack of fruit splits, but they're in the freezer because they arrived and they were very slushy already. So I put those straight in the freezer. They were about £1.20, I think, for a pack of six. So that is everything that I picked up this week. Quite a big one, but like I said, before we went away, we ran down the freezer and the fridge. All that's in there is literally some chocolate and some butter. So um, yeah, I needed quite a big stock up. So I'll put the price on the screen for you now, and then I'll just pop it away and I'll share with you the meal plan. Okay, 
and here is a look at the meal plan. So today is Friday and we're going to have chicken fajitas. Tomorrow we're going to have salmon, new potatoes and green beans. Sunday is my sister's 40th birthday party, so we'll be at my mum and dad's having some party food. On Monday, we're going to have chicken stir fry. I'm at the hospital having my three weekly cancer treatment, so it will be a quick one when I get home. So I'm going to do chicken stir fry. Tuesday is a the meatball tray bake, which I'm going to video for you guys for a separate recipe video. Um, so I'm going to do that one on Tuesday. Wednesday, I'm going to do some homemade pizza. The boys will help me make the dough and we've obviously got the pepperoni and mushrooms and bits to go on there. So I'm going to do that on Wednesday. Thursday, I'm going to use some more of the chicken breast up and do it with some salad and rice and flatbreads and bits. And then Friday, we'll be back to shopping day again. So that is a look at our seven day meal plan. If you like the look of those meals, they will be on my Meals of the Week video next Thursday for you. And thank you so much for all of your wishes of us having a lovely holiday. We did have a really nice time up in Scotland and um, I've always wanted to go. So it was really lovely to finally get there and we were so lucky with the weather. So thank you all for your comments, wishing us a happy holidays. And I hope you enjoyed these slightly different Meals of the Week video. Uh, with a look at what we were eating on holiday and I will see you in the next video guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye